So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end today by talking about something that has happened in Zurich, Switzerland. And this video should be heard as a message to Christians in Zurich, Switzerland, and to all Christians who live in countries where they have a church tax. And I'm, I'm taking the story from Jihad Watch. And Jihad Watch is a good place to go to find stories that won't be covered by the media, okay? In Zurich, the leaders of the Catholic and Protestant churches have decided that they want to give away two million francs in church tax to Islamic associations in the city of Zurich. The churches in Zurich receive money from people, Christians, who voluntarily pay a church tax. That's Christians' money that is meant for churches. And the Christian leadership in Zurich are talking about giving away two million francs of that money to Muslim Islamic associations. Right. It's a tax. Uh, literally, it's a tax. It's a voluntary tax, yes. It's gathered by... Yes, it's a voluntary tax gathered by the state from your source of income and it is given to the church. You can opt out. It's a tax. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's, just, let's just be clear. The people that are advocating this are Christians, are Christians, ladies and gentlemen, who are known members of left-wing political associations. The former left-wing politician, and I'll just give you, try and find you the name, bear with us, Esther Straub, right, of the Reformed Church Council, she's the president of the Reformed Church Council, Esther Straub, has promoted the idea as a sign of interreligious cohesion. So Chris, they, they are wanting to give this money to Islamic organizations in Zurich as a goodwill gesture, ladies and gentlemen. That's their logic. It's the idea of helping to facilitate intercommunal cohesion. That money, ladies and gentlemen, will go towards Dawa, the building and repairing of mosques, and the Islamification of Austrian society. These leaders are literally betraying the church. Brother, let me finish and then I'll take questions afterwards. These leaders in Zurich, Switzerland, are literally betraying the church because they are funding opponents to the church. Ladies and gentlemen, and they are doing it because their political ideology is not being informed by their faith. It's being informed by liberal progressive politics. That two million power, that two million francs, ladies and gentlemen, could have gone to fund Christian evangelists and as an annual wage to fund evangelists in Protestant and Catholic churches. That money could have gone to support persecuted ex-Muslims who need homes and businesses and opportunities for jobs. That money could have gone towards freeing slaves in the Islamic world. That money could have gone to help persecuted Christians in the Islamic world. That money could have gone to pay for youth workers. That money could
could have gone to pay for the training of church leaders on how to be a better church leader. That money could have gone on a million and one better things. But, ladies and gentlemen, the liberal leaders of the Catholic and Protestant churches have instead taken that money and they want to give two million of it to Islamic associations who will do what? They will use it on dawah, they will use it on building mosques, they will use it on strengthening the Islamic community. An Islamic community that is dedicated to making Christians Muslim. So here's my message to Christians in Zurich. Opt out of the church tax. Defund these religious leaders. Defund Esther Straub, the president of the Reformed Church Council. Defund these church leaders by taking your money and opting out of this tax. But then take that money that you starve from these liberal leaders and give it as a tithe to good Christian leaders and good Christian projects that are helping ex-Muslims who become Christian, that are helping the persecuted church, that are doing evangelism and, and workers who are evangelists, who are training church leaders to be better church leaders. Defund these Christians. I call upon Christians across the European countries where the church tax is implemented to analyse carefully what those churches are spending that money on. And if, as these leaders in Zurich are doing, they are doing it against the Kingdom of God, then, ladies and gentlemen, defund them. And the reason why I say that, ladies and gentlemen, is for this reason. Because in Matthew chapter 24, reading from verses 45, it says this, And who then is the faithful and sensible slave whom his master, whom his master put in charge of his household? to give them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that slave whom his master finds so along when he comes, so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you that he will be put in charge of all his possessions. But if that evil slave says in his heart, my master is not coming for a long time, and he begins to beat his fellow slaves and eat and drink with drunkards, the master of that slave will come on that day when he does not expect him, and on that hour which he does not know, and will cut him into pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. If church leaders are funding movements that are against the church, that persecute the church, and that are against the kingdom of God, they are the slaves who are in charge of the household of the Lord. And they are abusing the trust of Christians who are giving them their money. These church leaders have a judgment upon them, whether they are Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox, and they will be punished. So my brothers and sisters in Zurich, do not be counted amongst the hypocrites. Do not fund the hypocrites. Do not fund the workers who are against the Kingdom of God and the Gospel, defund them by opting out of the church tax. Take your money and give it as a tithe to faithful Christian leaders in Switzerland, Zurich. 
and for Christians in any city, in any country, where the church tax exists, go and look at what the church leaders are spending their money on. I went to Dusseldorf Cathedral, a beautiful cathedral, a work of art, ladies and gentlemen. A church that by its sheer beauty attracts in thousands of visitors every single day of the year that it's open. And the church was funding people to be there to be helpful guides of that church. Not to be evangelists, not to evangelize the visitors, but simply to be tour guides, ladies and gentlemen. Such waste is only possible because of the church tax and German Christians. You are allowing your church leaders to squander the money that you are giving them in good faith. That money does not belong to them. That money belongs to God and God has called his church to establish his kingdom. Why not, instead of funding Islamic organizations or useless tour guides who do nothing and are as insipid as a watered-down beer, why not use that money to fund a Christian job fair where Christians who are looking for work can identify Christian businesses and Christian business organizations to work for. Why not take that two million francs and fund evangelists or fund worship leaders who can make the worship of our churches professional or fund training for church leaders so that they know how to use multimedia, so that they know how to manage volunteers, so that we can deepen their theological understanding against the influences of liberalism. The reality is we need to hold our church leaders to account for how they are spending our money and not enough of us are doing that ladies and gentlemen so i encourage you to do so any questions going once right so the question is is there a church tax in the uk no it's in places like germany and switzerland it's actually a hangover from the medieval period uh, but it's a voluntary tax. It's like zakat. You volunteer to pay it. But it is a tax. Once you agree to pay it, you, you have to pay it unless you opt out. I'm not saying abandon it everywhere. I'm saying look at what the church leaders are spending it on. And if they're abusing your money, like Esther Straub is abusing your money in Zurich, then you should defund those people by cutting yourself off from the church tax by opting out. Any other questions? I saw the India with uh, the people was uh, making fire so when you the church. Church, 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 church. In India? Yeah. So the brother raises the fact that recently churches in India are being attacked by Hindus. That is absolutely true, they are. And we Christians, if you agree with me that we should be vocal about Muslim persecution of Christians, then it follows that we should be vocal about Hindu persecution of Christians. And we should oppose Islamist persecution of Christians. We should oppose with the same fervor and zeal Hindu persecution of Christians in India. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, before I stop? I don't know. I'll be proud of you, but next time I'll, get, I'll have a few minutes, I'll stop and chat. No worries. Here, I'll give you my card if you want to get in touch. You're more than welcome. Right, guys, in that case, 
I'm going to stop. Anyone who wants to join me for a coffee are invited. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. I'll be back in two minutes. I just want to find someone very quickly and I'll come back here. Could you put that in the back? I'll be back here in two minutes to go for a coffee. Brother, you can't have a conversation. You know I was telling the truth. You weren't. You didn't provide. All you're doing is work for a game. You are the loser.